breathe. Can you hear it? Welcome to Relay. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Uh, with any luck, you can see us all. This all looks good. Hi. Uh, this is an intro to the outro for the pre-show for the Nitro tie, Pat, Pat, Pass, the Bass, Here Comes the Sass. It's Shivers, Ass, that's cold. But gasp, who's that? It's the frozen back half of a Canuck cat. Nakara's back, back on the cast that we're hosting. Ha, I'm David. This is the Relay Station. Let's get naked. Not what? Yes. That's all right. That was pretty good. Thank you. Hello? <laughs> I hope, yeah, I... <laughs> I, I like the I like the pun about Shiver's cold ass. Oh, I thought he said I've got gas. Well, he said that too. I think the video is yeah, lagging so. for some reason, and I don't know why. I think it's your fault. It is. It's on my end, a hundred percent. Well, that's okay. They can see us at ten frames a second. <laughs> hey, my pillow is green screened. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Ooh, we can see David's Discord settings. Anything I change would shut it hey, down. Hey, Carbide. Discord looks like it's running at a high frame rate. It's just our cameras. Yeah, no, it's, yep. it's something on my end. I really don't know why. Hmm. Weird. Um... How's Literally. the audio? Is the audio is the audio okay, or are we getting audio stuttering too? Yeah, I mean, you guys don't need to see us, so. Welcome to the audio only podcast. Uh, Nitro is apparently way too loud. Wait, oh, except the podcast says it's that's not. audio only. Oh, how early twenty first century? Yeah, that's gross. Yeah, what is this? Two thousand nine. Obviously, what? No, guys, this is the relay station. That this is like. <laughs> Come on, this is standard for us. It's saying is that, that Nitro has a lot of audio compression and lag. And then Nitro sounds like screaming. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's what that is. I think that's the... Oh. <laughs> base. Yeah. Well, I don't know. It seems it seemed right. Okay, well... Uh... Unless someone can come up with a quick fix in chat, I don't know what to do. So we're just gonna we're just gonna run run with it, because. Uh, and I'll try to whisper more. I turned you down. Percussive a little bit. maintenance. Percussive maintenance. Yeah, mm -hmm. it usually works. Um, I just only hit got it. an acoustic. Oh, acoustic maintenance normally doesn't work. I don't have any percussion. I was I don't have a Jesus. Drum set. I, I had a moment there. I was out. To, I was about to say, as opposed to all that electrical percussion, it's like, oh yeah, they do exist. They do. I thought yeah. that was a good one. It was but, pretty good. I... But I'm not gonna like roll that roll over and like die laughing or anything. Okay. Um... Someone needs to uh, gif uh, David's like sad fade away from his desk there. <laughs> Shiva, where's the where's the beeping backup sound effect that we, <laughs> that we play? <laughs> oh, that's good. Uh, so, Hi, everybody. Hello, welcome to the relay station. Uh, I guess we'll probably start talking about Star Citizen in a minute because I think that's what we're supposed to do here. Um, mm, that's dubious. It is. Oh man, I really wish I knew why. There was so much video lag on this right now. But I don't. Are you dropping this frames? This is how I watch everything online with my internet connection. <laughs> I'm, actually not, I'm actually not dropping frames. Like, I'm I'm perfect on that. It is it is on Discord's end. Like, my Discord is... All right, so we'd slow. have to restart Discord, probably. I mean, which is I could probably idea. leave the call. Everything would drop for a second, and then I'd rejoin it. I don't even one, know if that would work. One moment, everyone. Okay. All right. See. That is not any better at all. Sorry. Oh. Um. 
No, that, it, uh, that's not that's not an improvement. Nope. I don't know. <clears throat> I can't fix it right now. Uh, you need, you need of, one of those giant like you need one of those giant wooden like snappy take two, take three, take four hundred and seventy five. Yeah. yeah. Uh, the recording will be fine though, so when it gets uploaded to YouTube, no, yeah. it won't. What? No, it's <laughs> the whole thing. It's just this is the video. The video on my end is just lagged. It's just even, not, even, even like my video straight from my webcam. Oh, nice. That's cool. I don't know why. Uh, so, then it's not. It's not Discord. It's OBS. I don't have. Well, he doesn't. He doesn't use OBS. Or whatever your streaming software is. Yeah. <clears throat> I don't know. Stream Deck or whatever. Or maybe that's not. Yeah, I don't know. Anyway. Stream. Um, well, regardless, yeah. let's carry on. We're just gonna. Yeah. I, I'm the surprised you didn't the, start singing there. Yeah. The audio on the bass sounds really good. I mean, the audio is fine, so uh, that's yeah. it. Uh, just, that, just don't watch us. Audio on the bass is me. Yeah. Uh, I forgot. Yeah, that's why. It's because it's because. But Jim thanks. So, <laughs> welcome to the relay station, everyone. Um, I was actually really, really proud of that intro. I thought it up 12 seconds ago, um, while we were live. Yes, and then I went back to the past. To perform it um wow this is week two of the relay station being back in 2019 because it's week two of cig being back in 2019 uh so we are still in the light news um sphere that said there was some good stuff this week uh but before we get to that uh nitro how you been i've been pretty good um not bad at all so, Good. I mean, semester started back up, so I only slightly want to die on the inside, but that's, that's you know, part of the course. As long as it's only on the inside, you're fine. Yeah. Just, just yeah. you know, toughen up. Mm -hmm. And, uh... Mm -hmm. Trying to get a leg up in the competition. <laughs> <laughs> I, I did quite enjoy it. I know we've already commented on this, but I, I like watching the stream, and it looks like... Looks like Nitro's pillow is trying to escape to another dimension. It does. It's like I'm, I'm working on it. It does. I, I it suppose does. I could turn off the green screen on that somehow. Uh, my uh, eh, my no, it's, my it's pillow is being my pillow is being uh, attacked by an. Yeah, something like that. I guess if I do that, it fixes it. Um, Yeah, you know what? Let's just switch over and uh, talk about the few things that were shown off in ATV this week. Because uh, yeah, let's we're do gonna it. start. We're just gonna do that. Uh, as always, if you guys have questions, type them in. We'll answer them. But uh, show and tell. This all looks good. Except maths questions, we're not very good at those. Don't uh, ask I'm, us maths I'm questions. Great. I am great at answering them. Actually, that's as true. Far, as long as you don't expect them to be answered correctly, I am excellent at answering math questions. I can answer any question. Um, it's the eyes. I just... I... They focus up on the eyes here later. And mm -hmm. you can, they, they look really good and like they're, they're shaking slightly and they look great, but still just eyes never. I, I don't like that they made red eyes a option. Would you say like, it's pretty ugly or would you say it's pretty bad? I don't know. I thought it was pretty good. I hate you. Don't shake your head at me like that. You're the one that invited me. Or wait, no, Nakara invited me. Yeah, it's not even my fault this time. It's my fault. Uh, I, I will say I have enjoyed seeing all of the, like, little things people are putting together and then posting up on Twitter and such of, like, a whole bunch of people meeting up and doing interesting things mm -hmm. in-game. It's, uh... Did, did you see that, that streamer Rex... Um, 
he I, I guess he's a big partnered streamer he's, he's like partnered with red bull and dx racing and stuff like that and uh he got together with an entire server and they all played star citizen together and there's a clip where they're kind of doing like the the normandy beach run in star citizen where there was a hammerhead full of people just landed and the turrets were all firing and like 20 to 30 people had to bum rush this hammerhead and try and get aboard and so they were like hiding behind rocks on Daymar and stuff like that and uh, he's like peeking around the rock and he's shooting and he turns around and there's just a guy holding a box and he's like, why, why do you have a box? He goes, it's the beer, sir. I got the beer. And he's like, <laughs> he's got the beer. Protect this man. Oh, that's, man. that's good. That is fun. <clears throat> um, mm-hmm. It's still the same fun that Star Citizen has always had. It's the <laughs> let's try and get a bunch of Big Benny's machines, random play. It's, mm-hmm. But <laughs> it's fun. I like yeah. it. Agreed. Uh, what else we got? Uh, so Shiver, you were complaining about this a little earlier when we were uh, waiting to go live. The hover bikes. I was. I wasn't complaining. I, I was pointing out that other people were less than happy, just by saying, you know, wow, it looks pretty much the same, and yeah, all right, it's not dissimilar. But the, the problem there is, it, it's like. Maybe it plays differently, and we don't really know. It does look very similar to what it used to be, but it's... I, I saw a minority of people complaining, just saying, you know, it's too floaty or it's too hovering. It's like, mm, maybe, but maybe it feels okay. I mean, we are looking at it in a third-person perspective. It might fly differently in person, but I am I was, quite excited for the new flight changes. I always thought that the old flight model for hover vehicles were more floaty than um, what it looks like in the new video. Yeah, it looks looks way less floaty in the new video. Yeah, in the new video, because, like, they go over rocks, and you can see it bumping up and down uh, from going over the rocks, but... I'm watching this, and it's not bad, and, and, like, the little bump there (laughs) over the rocks is not bad. Um, I did see a lot of people uh, say... I want my character to lean on the corners, and it would make sense for him to lean on the corners in certain it situations. It does currently. I, I would, well, I mean, like, I would assume they mean proper... No, it, it proper does. leaning when over I, things. When I really? flew my knocks, yeah, you would lean into the corners. So, uh, like <laughs> Top McWabbit says, a video, it's, it is hard to relay what it feels like through a video. Yeah, relay. Yeah, I like that. Um, but I, what... <clears throat> I'm sitting and thinking watching this is like when he goes up there, there's too long of a float before you come back down. Um, honestly, the thing, definitely yeah. things like that. Honestly, on, if, sorry. if I were uh, CIG, I would probably try and go back and play um, Star Wars Episode One Pod Racer. On the Nintendo 64, because that is what these should feel like. There you go. Or or go play um, uh, any of the Halo games and fly a ghost. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, the, that was these good. these hover vehicles need to feel like the pod racers in. Mm-hmm. I th- I do think that that's going to ch- obviously going to change with different gravities on different mm-hmm. bodies and things. So, but it should be really it, funny it if to be. be- It'd be really funny if you were trying to use one and like a body that was really tiny and you just kept flying off. <laughs> <laughs> I do want to see saw planet. someone hanging onto the handlebars and the rest of them flapping in the wind. <laughs> I, I do want there to be, be small enough that you can jump and take off. Mm. Yes. But um That would make me happy. Yeah. What else we got? Uh ooh, yes. Female character models. This is just mm-hmm. so long in coming. Oh mm-hmm. Now, I I don't like to... Uh, maybe I do, and I just don't want to admit it, but I normally don't make a lot of fun of people for their pronunciation, but the guy who's doing this segment, he, refer, he, he kept saying males and females. 
Oh really? I didn't all know this. the time, and it is so distracting for me. This is like it's the it's the Mel the the Mel model and and the and the Femme model Femme model. <laughs> all I know is that they were talking about how they put they put the male animation set on the female uh, skeleton to try and get an idea of uh, how it would transfer, and then that's when they started like tweaking it. Mm -hmm. And all I want is for them to give the option of, like, you can pick <laughs> which animation you want. Because That'd I be would funny. find it so funny if some a guy in the verse just walk, uh, walked up to me and he had that, like, sassy hip walk that the female character model has. I mean, they should. That would... <laughs> mm -hmm. I, I mean, I'm awesome. not good at... I've seen guys walk with that walk. Yeah. I've seen I, you I, walk with that walk, dude. <laughs> God that. damn it. I wasn't going to say that. Even I was going to leave that one to go. <laughs> Look, sometimes you need to move your hips, okay? You just wanna... But why were you wearing a dress? Someone offered me a beer. Oh, man. Before um, or off? No, no. This is already a great show. <laughs> Top 10 right here. <laughs> Oh yeah, I. Oh. I love it. Um, no, I'm. I'm. I think we're gonna talk. Actually, you know what? This is a perfect time I'm, while this loops. This is a good time to talk about. Um. Or no, no, we're gonna do that later when I figure out how to show those other things. No. On the topic of the female walk, um. I I do walk hope they have way. variation on it because. The one that they, sh the one that they showed off was, it was quite a sassy, very pronounced female walk, and mm -hmm. you don't often see a woman, a, and you, I don't, I, I it's exact same animation set. I, I want a lot of variation, and they've got the potential there. <laughs> is is, Frizzer, is Shiver freezing for anyone else as he talks, or is it just me? Um, not his voice, but his video is. Okay. <laughs> Wait, are you, I, are you losing his voice too? Yeah, I'm losing his voice just as he he like says the meat of what he's trying to say. No. Oh. And then he comes back after the meat and he's explaining it. And then he drops the meat. And then he. <laughs> That's interesting. Stop dropping your food, you Shiver. Should... Start saying. Food? You should just start saying meat like every twenty or thirty seconds. Go. Um, I, I, they, they said that the, the male animation on the female skeleton didn't, or whatever. I think that's because the arms are out too wide. It, if you watch it again, the, the female with the male animation, it just looks like she's trying to front on you. Like she's, she's like, <laughs> what'd you say to me? <laughs> yeah. Oh man, that's funny. Um. Yeah, and I mean, good. Get us female characters in there, cause. Uh... Yeah. Hey, look, it's a moon again. Woohoo! Hello, moon again. That's hey, Shiver, is that your home planet? <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, actually, I wanted to to say that oh, to man. talk about this briefly, cause um, so. It's currently minus thirty outside. Yes, I um I on uh, Relay's Discord I shared the the uh, weather warning map last night for all of Canada. Yeah, and almost all of Canada is red. Yeah, for with a um, with a extreme cold warning. Oh yeah, but twenty four people have been evacuated. <laughs> it gets better, Eric. Uh, over, what over here? So it's minus thirty right now. Okay. Tomorrow we are expecting twenty-five to thirty centimeters, <laughs> and this is going to be the coldest snowstorm that Ottawa has ever had. Well, because norm normally, normally, for those of you that don't live up where it's north, um, normally it doesn't snow when it's really cold. When it gets yep. too cold, you don't get snow. I think it's below um, minus 25. It normally can't snow, but it can if there's a warm air mass above the cold air mass. 
So we um, are we are going to have snows down through frigid freezing temperatures and thirty centimeters of snow tomorrow. That's that's going to be the powderiest snow ever. Yes. After the <laughs> show, it makes you feel any better. Australia is having one of its hum- hottest summers on record ever. Yep. Right oh, now. It's, it's oh. almost uh, like we've been uh, pegging the planet with an iron horse for the past 50 years, and it's <laughs> finally... Uh... I'm not sure about that. I think everything's having a bit fine. of a moment there. I like everything's it. fine. I mean, like, is it, is it the entire horse, yes. or is it just a certain bit? Be- okay, the entire... That sounds quite an awkward. Iron one. It's not an iron to... horse. Yeah, yeah, it's iron. Yeah. What if it's been raining? <sighs> so, uh, so I think that was it from around the verse. <laughs> um, yeah, it wasn't very long this week. It was like ten minutes. But I want to try and grab. We have a bunch of other stuff to look at, though. What? Yeah, I want. I need to grab uh, its window. I want to try and grab this if I can. Give me one second. I need to figure this out oh, quickly. Oh, okay. So while he's doing that, I'm going to read the weather forecast for uh, for David's uh, home oh, there. For, for where I am? Uh, yeah. For, so for tonight, oh my God. snow really is t- turning into an actual news station. Yeah, we are. <laughs> uh, snow at times heavy and local blowing snow amount 10 to 15 centimeters. Then we'll get a bunch more tomorrow. Um, wind north northeast. Oh, God. 30 gusting to 50. Um, low minus 22, wind chill near minus 35, frostbite in minutes. Yeah. This is the first time I've seen a weather girl with a bed. (laughs) I'm actually a dwarf weather girl, thank you very much. It's... Basically what I was trying to say is, uh, as soon as this cast ends, Cass and I are going out to buy some supplies, because tomorrow, uh, I'm not leaving the house, guys. Nope, not leaving the house. So, did we lose a nitro? Oh, no, there's a nitro. No, I'm here. Okay, right. so I've put the uh, the Star Citizen roadmap up. Um, mm-hmm. There have been. You some... can see there's a few changes. Yeah, do you wanna do you wanna run us through those changes, uh, Eric? Uh, does no. Marius? No, no. Um, Tech Mojo, yes. This is this is the kind of weather no. that you don't even go play hockey in. <coughs> now, as a Canadian, there are not very many types of weather that you don't go play hockey in. But this tomorrow, is it. tomorrow is the type of weather that you're like, well, that rink's fucked. Because yeah, if rink if rinks get a whole bunch of snow on them and they aren't shoveled mm-hmm. immediately, the rink dies. Mm-hmm. And that's what tomorrow is. Cheers. Yay! All right. Do you know why you so, should never play hockey in front of reindeer? Um, because they'll get jealous. Because they carry boo. <laughs> I'm gonna okay. call it time of death. Is. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so uh, Star Citizen Roadmap. Um, we have a new mission giver, uh, Ticia Pacheco, or Pacheco, or Pachioco, something like that. Um, uh, seen some progress on DNA face customization and Art Corps Area 18. Um, FPS Combat Stealth was nuked out of 3.5, as was Flight. Flight, quantum, and strafing. However, added was ship AI flight model updates and ship AI combat behavior improvements. Which is good because as far as I'm aware, uh, the ship AI combat stuff in the PU has not been functioning very well at all. I'm Just glad the uh, DNA... <laughs> I think, isn't uh, that? Isn't that the? Uh, anyway, I'm just gonna no, no, no. I'll, I'll leave that alone. Um, uh, the reputation and law system has been moved out, as has salvage and the escort service beacons um, to some predetermined later date, um, or not predetermined to some later date. Now it hasn't been um, moved into three point six, correct? No, but 
Actually, and... I wouldn't even I wouldn't even say that for sure. It looks like they haven't haven't really finalized what three point six is going to be. And we don't have anything past so. three point six, correct? No, this is the roadmap right now. <laughs> yeah, you're looking at it. Um. However, they added the heat system in for ships, um, pre- presumably. Um, the AI bounty hunting and environmental missions. Um, vehicle scanning HUD improvements, which will be very nice. Um, AI distress beacons. Vehicle radar version 2. Uh, quantum travel improvements. Vehicle scanning improvements. Improvements. Vehicle tech updates. Version 1. Group. VoIP and FOIP improvements version three. <laughs> so we actually, yeah. Um, so I like version forty six. Forty two. What, what do you guys think about losing salvage? Because I know that uh, I know that that one is currently a little bit of a sore point for um, certain individuals who. Uh, Salvage? I want, I'm trying to or think. To I'm trying to think of how to say this in as nice a manner as possible. Um, but I can't think of a way. So, so to to to, to people that are mad. Um, what kind of mad? <laughs> the bad kind. <laughs> The angry type of mad? Why? Why you have to be mad? It's only game. Um. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I mean, it's it is what it is. This is the way this uh, this quarterly release schedule goes. If it's not ready, it gets moved out. Such is life. Um. That's what I have to say. Maybe it's not very sympathetic, but. I mean, mm-hmm. that's. I completely agree. There, there is no sympathy, so I'm okay with it. So, is still in there, so I can for them complain. because you know, as um, uh, Dirk C. Fenrir pointed out, you know, no new mechanics and three. Okay, bit shit. What the hell Just is means that when it here? does come, it's going to be a bigger. Than it was originally intended, so it will make up for it at a later date. Yeah, I think um, seeing is that they realize that more than they re- really need now is to um, improve existing mechanics because that's what you see in there. Um, and I suspect salvage will pop up again fairly soon. Um, I haven't actually figured out what three point six is going to be yet. Um, if you know what I mean, um, I think a lot. Of, I think some of these things may end up in three point six later on. Anyway, um, we also have um, bounty hunting or bounty mission NPC improvements, detor- distortion Im- damage improvements, gimbal weapon improvements, and extending delivery mission will be in on this patch. Oh, three hundred series reworks got some love. Uh, the M50 and the Constellation Taurus and the um, Merlin, um, all all of their entries got moved out. Um, the new weapon, the Banu Singe Tachyon Cannon. That's a ship so weapon, it's, right? It's going to singe your ship using tachyons, apparently. Yes, I would I would believe so. I I want to I want to take a second here because uh, everyone else is cutting out on my end, and it's. It's Discord, uh, so I'm really sorry about this, everyone. Like, there's Discord is just it, it, and two. Oh, no, sorry, sorry. They could listen to the audio on the base if they want. They could. Is the audio okay on your end? Yeah, audio, audio is fine here. It's just yeah, on my end, but it is Discord. Like, I've got. Do you wanna? Do you wanna just reboot your computer and try and reset everything up again? It's not my PC. I just booted it up for this, so it's. Do you want to restart Discord? Um, you know what? I'm gonna try that. Uh, we're okay. gonna be back in like 20 seconds. Maybe 20 minutes. <laughs>
administrator for it to Hello. finally stop. We're, we're back. Ass. I, I closed Discord. Uh, it didn't show anywhere. I had to close it from Task Manager. It still doesn't show. Um, but uh, we're going to hope that it, work, it at least sounds a little better this time because I got nothing. I'm sorry. Um, that said, uh, uh, so basically the end of this is, um, they, I think they just bundled up OCS and I don't know what they did with the networking stuff, but there's two new entries and five removed entries for networking or four removed entries for networking things. The organic shader was moved out. Um, and the hard surface shader was improved. You should put up that sh the newsletter. I was I literally just in chat typed as long as the audio is better, I'll take it. And then the audio crapped out. I don't know what's going on. Um, so which the uh, which one do you want me to show there, Eric? The hard surface. Oh yes. Uh, the suitcase full of goodies. Yeah, that too. Yeah, that. Just yeah, let me that. let me resize it. Sorry, Dis Discord or uh, it's OBS. So not pretty. Great. This is this is really good looking. Like, mm -hmm. huh. it's really good looking, guys. It's like a Blender rend uh, rendering rather than an in-game rendering. I'm yes. I'm impressed by that. Um, I do also like that. It, this is clearly a case that opens and has three. I I'm excited to see the cargo system more in depth of the like open up a case and put things in certain spot like it's pretty okay it's pretty it's super just, pretty look at how tiny that wrench is that's sitting on top of the coffee cup yep tiny little wrench the thing that's cool is they're it. showing this they're showing this on items but this will also make a lot of things in the game look which uh I don't want the wrench. What I want is that red notebook. Because oh, okay. the notebook that CIG has been selling forever is shit. I don't want it, but I love notebooks. And that little red notebook there, that looks like a nice, mm. high-quality notebook. I want that notebook. Can you say notebook just a few more times, please? Uh, notebook. 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 Awesome. Note book. Note. <laughs> that sounded like you were telling somebody book. in book to note <laughs> in the most Canadian way ever. <laughs> and those audio clips will be useful later. Excellent. Excellent. <laughs> As I, I always, I always like to be of some note. Won't be a, if any. Book. Uh, it won't be a serious game. Uh. <laughs> it's that when it comes either. down to you know this just tell me in 40 seconds and I'll shut the fuck up it's not so much what you see in game the amount of objects that go into making that so say a ship in game they will make that Maya first and that could end up being like in one million parts and then they will take all of those parts and essentially blend them so they are recognized by the game engine when it's imported as one part one polygon but that therein you get the uh issues with the am i boring you eris Should I, I just no it's just you've cut out like three times on my end and i'm i'm just i don't know what's going on on my end i'm just pissed it does how many shape check that matters <laughs> what <laughs> i got it oh my god uh, hey, so just, just start what doing like this to each other he simpled it down and this is like real brutal like <laughs> anytime anyone Every talks, I, I don't think I've got Windows Update running. Like, there's nothing running. That's not running. Like, like I said, when I was having issues yesterday on my laptop getting Discord to run, um, I ended up having to, <laughs> to run as administrator. Oh, run it as min. 
Yeah. Oh, God, really? You know what? I, that's how I fix my problem. I don't. You know what? It's this goddamn latest <laughs> fucking Windows update, okay? Yeah. Yeah, Which it one? really is. I don't the fucking one that know. Almost, the one that accidentally deleted everything <laughs> in your fucking documents folder. <laughs> yeah, I like how Microsoft was like, uh, so we're going to start testing your updates now because things are going bad. <laughs> okay, okay. I'm now running it as administrator. Let's see if this fixes. Also, holy shit! Hi, Jake. What? We Jake missed you, Jack. Jake. I have we seen missed you. Ages. Who's Jake? Happy I New Year. Okay. Okay. Go Ghost has got a point. Who puts documents I, I in a documents folder? I come up. Games I going. Up. Some games by default go in. Uh, my oh documents, yeah, my games. that's true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I not, I not your whole game, in, save games. In Google Box. I mean. Yeah, okay. same. <laughs> So far, so are you so enjoying you enjoying how awesome our show's going here, Jake? Oh my god! <laughs> oh my. I just I'm technical problems are fun. I'm 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 I'm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's leaving again. Oh wow, nice. That's the Canadian way to dispose of a beer can. Don't do that. It actually really hurts. Yeah, it does. You should do it. Uh, well, I always the said the drink the would kill you, is, but I didn't think it would be a brain tumor. The problem is, <laughs> the problem is, you're supposed to do it when you have a hockey helmet on, and uh, yeah. No, my my helmet's upstairs. The pads are there. There you go. <laughs> oh. All right. So back to Star Citizen. We should probably take some questions, hey? Um. No, we're we're actually still good. This is going on so slowly because we haven't actually done anything, which is perfect because we've actually like run through all the news uh, somehow. I really feel actually, we sorry haven't run for through that all the poor news. person okay. uh, who's going to come on YouTube expecting like, oh, I'm really looking forward to this week's Relay Station. I love watching it every <laughs> week. And it's going to get this shit. I'm so sorry, Dave. <laughs> but I'm sorry, Dave. No, we don't call you you're, Dave. You're a David. You're David. Yeah. That's, that's different. Okay, so the Squadron 42 roadmap. Yeah, there's not a whole lot here. Um, remember the stealth that was removed from from uh, 3.5? Well, it found its way across the nether reaches into Squadron 42. Um, all, I, all I care about is where's the mech suit? Uh, the mech suit is in Q4 2019 Titan suit. There you go. Ah, uh, okay. <clears throat> there are so um, many questions I have about that thing. Like, Right? Oh yeah, yeah. Um, um, can I give it so a sword? So I'm gonna be completely honest here. I've I, I haven't uh, all I've been doing the past couple of weeks actually is writing. I've been doing a, an absolute shit ton of writing. I now get up at five thirty every morning to write. And I was gonna to say write. we need to all give you a hand for getting up at five thirty every morning to write. It's every it, day. I'm I'm actually really really enjoying it. It's weird. Um, can I give him a foot instead? I don't have much use for those. Okay, sure. <laughs> I'm, I'm okay with uh, I've been writing, and... Uh, can I give him my appendix so his book can have an appendix? <sighs> yeah, sure. Ah. Uh, Mrs. Aris and I have been playing Fallout 76. Cool. And if there's one thing I really like, it's getting into and out of power armor. And I really mm -hmm. hope that getting into a Titan suit feels kind of like... Like, you have to open it up and, like climb in closes around you and just gives you that feeling of like like the way that they've shown you climbing into the suits Someone in, that, clip that. in uh, Anthem yes I'm actually kind mm -hmm. of excited for Anthem too I, I, I might have pre-ordered it the other day I'm not going to do I don't that. like pre-ordering games but I, I did it I'm not going to pre-order Anthem but I will I will probably sign up for the <laughs> EA monthly thing to play it for a month and see. Mm. And see. 
I think it's going to be a microtransaction fest of disastrous. No, they've come out. Yeah. They've come out and said that yeah. microtransactions. <laughs> they've what? come out and said that microtransactions are only going to be cosmetic. Okay, so they'll just lock all the content and behind expansion packs and DLC. Nope, you can earn it all uh, all in game, and uh, expansions are free. Maybe we'll see. Which is I why I pre-ordered it. I, yeah, I, I know. I, I, mm. <laughs> Regardless, that's that's other stuff. Um, um, so what happened in this? This is the, the other the other edition is ships ship system degradation improvements, which you also saw on um, on the uh, PU schedule. They removed player location stairs improvements and stuck it into Q2. They removed NPC healing and stuck it into Q2. And removed procedural asteroids and stuck it into Q2. Um, I'm really looking forward to the procedural asteroids because that will probably find its way across to the PU, which will make the asteroids probably way better than they are right now. I really just want to, to rant about EA and Activision right now because holy fuck, Activision needs to burn in fucking hell. They kill everything. And anyone who's like, oh, EA sucks, EA at least fucking tries once in a fucking while. Activision couldn't give two fucking shits if it didn't have fucking bundles of cash pouring out of it. Fucking sure. bastards. Sorry. I think um, I think they're both I think they're both horrible. Like really really bad. They they're both really bad, but <laughs> really really bad. But they're they're like EA is bad and Activision is an entire other level of bad. Activision is a yeah, we're gonna we're gonna fuck Diablo bad. See, the the one thing that I, I will give EA that they did right is they left Titanfall alone. And uh, they just let Respawn Entertainment do what they wanted with it. Except yeah. they, except they like totally set it up for a death. They, they set it up for oh, yeah, failure. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. They did. Um, what, but, my biggest problem with Activision is that they don't make any games that are worthwhile except for Blizzard games. No. Mm. I mean, uh, yeah, Ac Activision yeah. has Call of Duty and Blizzard, but EA well, at least Call comes out with damn good sports games every year. Uh, has anyone asked us any questions? I'm uh, gonna yeah. check. Two people, my god, please ask us a bloody... Buddy goddamn. Uh, oh god, this is damn tootin', rootin' tootin'. No, Rudy tooty pointin' shooty. Ew. Uh, oh no. Uh, oh, we've got two. Oh my god, guys, guys. I know. I know this is a new year and everything. They really want you to sing. I, I know this is a new year, but do you really, really want me to start singing? Yes, apparently. I can just turn my headphones off. Yes, I will. I will sing. No matter the pain it will bring. If you don't ask okay. us. Who's killing a cat? <laughs> Everyone. Cats deserve to die. They're assholes. That's snakes. Fuck you. Snakes have more humanity than cats do. No, fuck snake. Right, put, take all the snakes. Put them on these SpaceX rockets that are going to Mars, and just fuck it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but you know what happens. A good snake then. is a handbag or a pair of shoes. They, they would figure out a way to survive on Mars, and then they would like take over the planet and then make their own spaceships and come back. It's but Snakes are that evil. I, yeah. I, you know, I'm pretty sure that I tweeted that we were going to talk about some things. So I'm going to check that tweet there was, to see what I said wait, I was, we were going to talk about. When I was in about. Japan... I was wow. watching this program and it was about uh, Nico <gasps> Temple. No, I, hang I, on. I've been there. I got the it. Crew, no, 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 fuck you. Wait, wait, the wait, crew wait, were wait, walking wait. through. And then all of a sudden, the, the crew, just this snake fucking drops on them <laughs> from nowhere. And I'm like, what the fuck? You, the, the, you took me there and you didn't tell me that snakes would just drop out of the sky spontaneously on me. I am. This is why people in Japan walk around with a fucking umbrella. At all points of the year, because of fucking snakes. And then, then my wife, she says, "Oh, it's no problem." There was this one time I saw a snake on the roof of the neighbor's house. And I'm like, "How the fuck did a snake get on the fucking roof? It's in the middle of fucking nowhere. There's no fucking." 
fucking pole? There's no wire? What the fuck is up with your fucking snakes? How much do they want to kill you? They've figured out how to climb a vertical surface to get to you. They're jumping out of the trees for you. They can swim at you. Then the earth is shaking and they're going to come out of the ground for you. Really? What the fuck we is the matter with this place? <laughs> <laughs> no, we don't. I, I'm so glad this is the episode I came back to. <laughs> This is great. <laughs> we always Not a fan fun. of snakes. Not a fan. Oh, man. <laughs> no, apparently, apparently I should send shiver some snakes. <laughs> no. So I, I did, I did in the tweet. I we've covered two of the three things that I said we okay. talked about in the tweet that I made. We have to at least, for legal reasons, cover the third. <laughs> <laughs> okay, fine. Go. So uh, there was. There was a statement this week by Luke CIG um, basically saying that he's got an agreement on making the point at which you can quantum in Atmo systemic and it looks promising for 3.5. They've also reduced the arrival radius generally so to reach the surface of Hurston takes three minutes rather than five and I just want to say holy shit yes that is exactly well, yeah. what I have been arguing for since he actually says three minutes rather than 10 so i think yes quite 10, significantly 10, reduced sorry. it three yeah, minutes so, rather than 10 um, that is exactly exactly what they needed to do and i'm very pleased with it i up, i Rachel? missed the first part of that what did they do to uh shorten the time um so they've they've reduced the rate the arrival radius so you arrive closer to the planet um, oh, okay. And also, they've also made it um, systemic. What, at what point in the atmosphere you can quantum, so they can probably apply mm -hmm. it to all planets without having to set it individually for each planet. So you don't have to go all the way up to a uh, hundred thousand kilometers. No, it sounds like not. Okay. Yeah. I mean, you so might you have quantum to. For, in you you might have to for the large planets, but the moons you won't have. Like. They're making it. Well, Hurston is a hundred thousand. the The moons are thirty thousand. Right. Yeah. But it's so going it's it's to do now. it automatic. Like it's going to do it on its own. I mm. guess. Regardless, cool. uh, quantum tra travel was one of the getting to a planet and getting down to a planet was one of the things that. And sucked. getting up from a planet. Yeah, yeah, all of it was. It took too long. It, it's, yeah, I, I was I was leaving Atmo the other day, and I was just like, time to open up general chat and see what everybody's doing. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. And that uh totally. At no point in the game should you be like I'm going to go do something else. Mm -hmm. Right? That's that's not yeah. good. Quite frankly, that is not good gameplay design. Good gameplay design is not Oh, yeah, I just watch a podcast while I'm mining or i i watch well, a podcast it's not that it, it's not so much that because you, you can be all right just watching a game for a certain amount of times itself as long as you've set things up and you're like this is my plan going into action and now you know as long as you there's something going on that's you know you can see the consequences of your actions so it's something that keeps you as the player interested rather than just yeah okay. which is where we're where we were at yeah so there are three questions. Jake is yelling at me in chat. And for some reason, I think Jake is a decent human being. So I'm going to humor him. We're going to answer oh. those questions right now. We're going to answer those questions right now. And if we reach the end of these three questions and there are no more questions, bad things are going to happen. So first his question. Voice, my his, voice will, his voice will ring out across North America. North America. Joe asks. Joe asks, how many pickles would fit inside a freelancer max? None. Pickles are disgusting, and once you put them somewhere, you can never get that goddamn smell out. Never put pickles anywhere. Pickles are delicious. Pickles are wonderful. Pickles. I make my own suck. pickles, and they're amazing. Pickles suck. Pickles are amazing. The only good kind of pickle is jerkin. Because everyone likes jerkins. Everyone yeah, likes so you jerkin. Like, so you, so you, yeah, jerkin. I was going to say, they're, they're gherkins, I, I, first of I, all, and second of all, so you like pickles. I was going to say, well, hold on. Gherkin is the type of cucumber used to pickle. It's not like a flavor. It's, I mean, it, it, it's no, from it's, the cucumber it's, family, but it's not a cucumber. 
Well, either way, it's the one that you're supposed to turn into pickles. Yeah. So Nakara is correct. You like pickles. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So the. the <laughs> Um, the alien egg gestating in the corner of Nitro's room asks uh, (laughs) compared to other games how do you feel about the amount of work going into the female character model and does that extra work make it worth the wait it it doesn't feel like there's been extra work going into it other than the change animations I think it's this hard for every game. They just don't tell you about it. So, yeah, I mean, it, I, I remember it's a couple of years ago. compared to other games, then, yeah, there's a lot more work that's gone into the animation system because, yeah, the, the animations on every single character are fucking gorgeous. And, yeah, I think it's worth it. Jake is right. Um, the same amount of work that goes into male model has to go into the yeah. female model or you're not doing the female model justice, quite frankly. Uh, but I remember a couple of years ago, I think it was Battlefield 3? When people were like, why can't we have female character models? And EA were like, because it's too hard to do. Mm. And I've heard other games do that too, yeah. There's a lot of games that say it's too hard to do because it's true. Um, you can't just put a female character model in a male one and be done. It does not work that way. And again, Jake is right. Assassin's Creed Odyssey does it really, really well where the female character model is completely different from the male character model up to and including the controls. And that is important. They should not feel the same. They should not look the same. Question. Um, Yeah. What do they change about the controls? Uh, Snappiness, if that makes any sense. Okay. I we we're talking about the female uh, model. I'm curious on why Star Helix just wants soft body collision. Because uh, uh, cool. uh, yeah, no, I'm just gonna leave that be. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, no, I, I get I get what you were saying. I was making a joke. I know that was. Uh, um, I like it. So Jake asks, "Who wants to join us on stream?" next week to discuss the beautiful train wreck that is Kingdom Hearts lore. Oh, my. So, uh, Jake and I... Jake Jake here is the true fanatic. I appreciate Kingdom Hearts. Jake loves it. Um, Kingdom Hearts 3 is coming out soon. Jake and I were talking about in the next week... Uh, just having a random stream where we where where we talk about Kingdom Hearts three because Kingdom Hearts is actually a great series of games, um, and we're gonna do that. Similar, we did we did one for um, Avengers, so so sim- mm. in the similar vein of running through the Kingdom Hearts games that lead up to three, like we did for all the Marvel movies that led up to Avengers. That was a fun stream. It was. So we're going to do the same I'm thing sorry, for Kingdom that. Hearts. Because uh, we feel like it. That's um, right. So you don't have to join us, but we're going to do it anyway. So, uh, yeah. Um, we're gonna, uh, Like Jake says, we're going to gear it towards people that have never played Kingdom Hearts 3 or ones who have played just the tiny stuff. There is a lot of extraneous information one thing i will say i think they're coming up with kingdom hearts 3 it's for ps4 but you can get all of it so kingdom hearts 3 and all of the previous games for like 40 bucks it's actually phenomenal like you get like nine games or something i don't know how many it is but like you get a lot for the price so uh yeah we're gonna do that Join us if you want. If you don't want to, just uh, ignore that notification. That said, Jake asks, can you lick your elbow? No. Nope. That depends entirely on, it depends your entirely on your definition of lick. If I cut off part of my tongue and touch it to my <sighs> elbow, does that count? I thought you were going to say your definition of elbow, and I was like, this is going to be interesting. No, um, Which part I don't of think. Tongue? I don't think that counts. 
Okay, it doesn't count. Then fine. Uh, asks, asks, relay cooking show when? Uh, oh, I want to be on that one. 2020. Well, uh, Mrs. Aranis and I have started a diet. So if you want to learn how to make a salad. What kind of diet? A, the only diet, thing you're... a diet where we eat salad. Oh. So the only thing you're eating is like, uh, or, or consuming is like beer and salad? No, I'm I'm making just healthy crap. Like, oh, okay. could I be like Gordon Salad. Ramsay, and then I do like beans on toast? Like, open a fucking beans and put it in a fucking tin. Put on the I, fucking I, bread I, and eat you the know fucking what? shit. If I can figure out how yep. to do a food stream where I like <laughs> open up to you guys and then look at my fridge and I'm like, okay, guys, what am I making today? And you guys tell me what to make and then I cook it. Botulism. Botulism. <laughs> making botulism today. Can botulism. It's the botchiest. Oh dear. See, like my my friends that I go visit like uh, twice a year, they're on the keto diet, and oh, yeah. so finding interesting ways to cook things that don't have carbs has been fun uh, to kind of do. We're we're reducing carbs, but not we're we're reducing carbs and dairy, uh, but not getting rid of anything because when you get rid of things entirely then you hate mm -hmm. yourself right um, generally so um, um so i want to ask the next one because i love it okay so the next question is from tilu we need a happy camper ship no weapons maybe a turret on the top civilian grade everything just land press a button and the ship extends out extends folds out and you've got a mini base which manufacturer would you like for building it? Oh, that, so that um, is like it'd be Shiver like gets his question because he's looking away. No, no, we're we're, we're going to go around. I want everyone's thoughts on this, starting with Shiver. Go. I don't know about the manufacturer, but it has to be this white and red paint job that keeps going smaller and smaller and smaller <laughs> until there's just this dot on the middle. I think that I might be a British it. thing. I don't know what you're what you're getting at there. Yeah, I don't it's get a it. Bloody target, you! Oh, a target! It's completely unarmed. You it's completely wanker. unarmored. Fuck it! I'm going to shoot it. Um. Oh, I, I just realized now the the names are all in disorder since. Yeah, I it's been like that for a while. I've been in the car for the the past <laughs> ten minutes. The car? Huh? This what is do you why think? I haven't got up and walked to the toilet because I can't anymore. <laughs> What do uh, I think? Um, no, I was I was asking well, Nakara. Yeah. You're shiver. Oh yeah, I'm sorry. I'm shiver now. But uh, wait, that does I mean I don't get it. Sh anyway, go yeah. Ahead. Sorry. No, I, I I got it and I was gonna answer, but then shiver made that joke and I couldn't stop laughing. <laughs> um, but uh, no, I I'm picturing like the those Volkswagen hippie vans that are converted to have like the camper uh, roof thing. Um, I think it would be cool. I agree with ship. Uh, I'm sorry. I agree with Nitro though, and uh, I it uh, it would have a giant target painted on its back at all times. But maybe it'd be a nice like snub ship to go inside of another bigger ship. Uh, Nakara. Yeah. Uh, I mean, sorry, Shiver. Thank you. <laughs> um. So I'm. I gotta give a little background here. We have a my family has a 1978 um, Chevy. What the hell is it called? Um, Chevy like R, uh, like uh, Chevy RV, right? Um, mm. uh, so it's got the it looks the it's straight out of the 60s and 70s sort of uh, style. Yep. Um, all of the interior is bright orange. Yep, and brown. Um, <laughs> Um, and uh, I think that should be perfectly recreated in the game with uh, with rocket engines on the back, um, and uh, that would make me quite happy. I think Consolidated Outland should make it. So what you're saying is you run a camper van that has engines on the back. Yep. Or I'm sorry, not a camper van, a, a Winnebago. Yeah, more or less. On the back. More or less. So, so but it would it would need wings to be able to fly through Atmo, right? No. So because because what? I am in control of this show, I, to make I got a it. Spaceballs joke. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I got it. Sorry. Because I'm in control of this show, I'm going to do this, and I'm going to do this. Hey, what? 
because this is what I think CN, uh, Consolidated Outline should build. Oh, I've seen this. <laughs> oh, it's amazing. <laughs> it's an attachment awesome. for the, 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 the Volkswagen. It's a Volkswagen that just attaches onto the back of a Mustang and drives off. And that is what I think. Why is Bumblebee like pulling trailers. that trailer? <laughs> <laughs> right? It, it's be, he wanted to be more like Optimus Prime. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. When he transforms, this his, it disappears. This, is, this was his way of uh, emulating Optimus. So mm -hmm. I think we need. I think Consolidated Outland needs to build one of those. It attaches to the back of the Mustang, and it's not a ship on its own because you can't have a ship undefended. But you land it, you drive your ship off, and it folds out. That's what I like. <laughs> I just want to point out how amazing I think this thing is. Yep. The, fact the guy that the... in the car behind is going, Angie, Angie, look what that feckin' idiot's put on the back of this feckin' car. What the fuck's that? <laughs> okay, um... next question. Where, where, the, where the fuck are we? Um, Shivers, the best Shivers, we've ever done. Shivers Pet Snake Winky asks, I still didn't hear the finish to Shivers' answer to the performance question from earlier. Uh, the basic concept is, uh, the, the way it looks, the texture, isn't really an impact on performance. It's more the amount of objects that are currently on the screen and having to be rendered that will impact it. The texture itself is no nothing, not much of an imprint. So overall... This sort of, the graphics fidelity that CIG are doing right now is not going to be a major change, uh, a major step up. The, you know, the, the tech you've got now, the only reason that you're going to need to upgrade is because of the other things that are going on under the hood. Uh, the server meshing, the 64-bit precision, all of that adds up to CPU cycles, which is why everyone's going, oh, I want to get this RTX 2080 and I want to get this video card. It's like, yeah, your video card's very important. In Star Citizen, so uh, is your CPU, which is why you might want to have a look at the... I'm sorry, Eris. If you if you are on a budget, you you might want to consider the AMD Ryzen 2 chips. Uh, because... I've, I have mm -hmm. muted Shiver uh, because he is <laughs> suggesting a garbage company. Uh, um, the, uh, it's I, have only muted, has I have muted Nakara I... because he is suggesting a garbage company. I have, muted, <laughs> I have muted Nitro because he is... <laughs> hey, here we go. All right. Um, we so right. None of us are muted on the base. The base is free. <laughs> oh my God. That's hilarious. Um, okay. But, uh, Tecmo, oh okay, guys, I just want to, I just want to throw it out here. It's, we, we still got a half hour left in this show. Somehow. I'm so glad somehow we have to spend on. another half hour. And we've only got one question <laughs> left. That question comes from Tech Mojo. Well, we do have to still look at the gameplay loops. I mean, that takes me... I didn't even I didn't even put it up because I didn't think it was that great. <laughs> uh, Tech Mojo asks, "How do you feel about every male player being the same height and every female player being the same height? Do you think the character customization will suffer due to this? I do not think that it will because one of the things that they did talk about at CitizenCon was, and it was during that whole presentation with the morphing of the face and everything, was that they've also figured out how to slightly vary." height as well so it's not going to all be the same heights eventually it is right now because that is a simpler way to do things currently but down the road i believe that there will be some some variance in height and weight it's still not going to be extensive but it will exist outside of, out, uh, no. outside of the character creator like a day into playing, you're going to completely forget that you're a different height than another p a person. Because, mm -hmm. um, like, I mean, the the only game I play currently that I, I really even think about is in Overwatch, they have a dwarf character. 
and when you play as him, your like your field of view is lower to the ground, and but you you don't ever think about it at all. Um, the uh, other the other thing is that you know they're gonna have like artificial limbs and shit. There'll be lots of character mm-hmm. customization. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And also, if we're talking about hitboxes, I don't think CIG are going to be uh, caring about Shiver. Go ahead. They don't have to. Fu- they don't have to fucking worry because the beauty of their system, with the physically rendered bullets, and the item system 2.0 tech, is it, the hitbox is literally the character. Mm-hmm. They don't have to add in the extra shit. It's glorious. They also don't mm-hmm. have to worry because they're not shooting for competitive esports like Call of Duty or some shit. It doesn't have to be. Everything doesn't have to be exactly the same hitbox because that's not what CIG are going for. They're going for a simulation, not a competitive landscape. Now there may be competitive racing or competitive other things, but. But competitive well, in the game, not competitive in the real world. Yeah. I honestly think that the combat in Star Citizen, once it's more in depth with different grenades, different equipment, stuff like that, um, is going to feel at, at least somewhat similar to uh, Rainbow Six Siege, because that game is actually really realistic because it has leaning mechanics and yeah. uh, once you're dead, you're dead. And that game has a really big competitive scene to it. Yeah. So there's potential. But well, like I like think... Ghost says, I can't wait and wait until people make super short characters that now can't see mm-hmm. or recover, or mm-hmm. make people make super short characters. And guess what? Your super short character loses out on inventory space. He can't carry as much because of <laughs> he doesn't have as many bloody pockets in his jeans because he's so bloody short. Oh, uh, that's gonna be something that sucks about. Uh the female character model is like all their pants aren't going to have pockets <laughs> I I don't think that it's a problem honestly I'm yeah yeah I don't I, I literally don't give a shit I honestly think that, that CIG I think CIG is going to limit it very heavily it's like yeah you can you can change between uh, you know five foot and six foot, and that's it. Yeah, I, I mean, I don't imagine it'll be more than a, a. I was thinking like six to eight inch mm-hmm. range. Like it's not going to be huge. You're not going to be able to be like three feet tall. Yeah, I know what you're thinking there. Uh, wait, what's your name right now? Nitro. <laughs> N- uh, Nitro, what's wrong? Nothing. I'm. 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 Nothing. Nothing. I'm mature. Six to eight inches is a lot to some of us. <laughs> <laughs> At least you didn't go the direction I went with it. That was the only one I thought I could get away with saying. <sighs> no, fair enough. I was gonna. I was gonna possibly bring up the uh, the thing that came up in the community this week. <laughs> no, I, that's worse. That's worse. <laughs> People expect oh, better from you, Eric. Right? No, they Maybe, don't. No, you know, knob jokes, I, but... I just thought of something really funny. If I make a really short character, and then I get, like, bionic legs, could I, I, could I like... If somebody's, like, being really mean and, like, uh, making short jokes, can I just, like, extend my legs and get <laughs> up to eye level with them? Like, that would be in Back to the Future too. Yeah. Oh my god. Welcome to the relay station. Um, you've got 20 <laughs> minutes left. The thing, <laughs> the thing is, you could probably be able to go, say, an extra 12 inches, but if it was a really cold planet, that might only go six. <laughs> <laughs> we need more questions. Yes, yeah. Inspector Ga- or Go Go Gadget, it's extendo legs. <laughs> Oh man, that's good. So I guess you should I, put up. I had two beer, <laughs> and I really need another beer, or like whiskey, <laughs> or vodka, or, or an something. Epidural. Holy shit! Yeah, this is hilarious. Uh, uh, you right over there. Reco legs. This, I, oh my god! I don't even know what to. 
Guys, I don't even know what to do. Nitro, what are you hoping the CIG are going to show off this year? What are your... You know, looking forward to most this year from CIG. What are you? Oh fuck! Whoever you are, you're asking yourself. You're on the car. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, I was about to say robot legs. <laughs> I, have, I, have, <laughs> I have robot um, legs on the brain now. Uh, mech suits. Yes. Mech suits all the way. I don't care. Like what? Like I, I've joked that I want to give it a sword, and I really hope that I get a sword, but. I don't care like what kind of weapons it'll be able to have. I just want a mech suit because, like I said, I'm gonna I'm gonna go into a battle with my Valkyrie full of Titan suits, and I'm just gonna do a flyby, and they're just gonna jump out of the back, and I'm gonna carpet bomb the battlefield with uh, like souped up soldiers. It's gonna be awesome. Yeah. Yeah. What do you think, Nitro? That's me. Wait, oh, is shit. it? Oh, yes, it no. is. <laughs> you should take You're a look. To say the You're supposed to say the line, but I'm Nitro. Oh, shit, everyone's Nitro. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Nitro. What do you yes? think? <laughs> There's... I, 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 on a related note to the f amount of shit that's going on right now, CIG have said that programs and so god said need it for the content content <laughs> that's what that's that's what i got on my end. new cig <laughs> programming for the community oh where when what who hopes, knows ambition streams what <laughs> would you like i would really like a a um a webcam put in CIG Studios that just runs 24 hours a day. <laughs> so I'm gonna I'm gonna put out a so really we can just hear all the random bullshit. I'm gonna put out a really <laughs> really controversial thought here, and I know that some people are going to castigate me uh, to no end for this. But here's my thought. My thought is that for some new CIG content. Maybe we could hear from, like, Chris Roberts. Um, like, once a month, uh, people could ask him some questions about what's going on. Maybe How many know, questions? Of, uh, maybe, I, I, I mean, I don't want to push it. So, maybe, like, Multitude. 10. Maybe, like, 10 questions or so. They could ask Chris a couple of questions about, like, yeah. how development is going and what the different studios are doing at the current, you know, at the at the period. Um that's, and Nitro, that's, what, what would that show be called? I think it would probably be called uh, Don't Jeopardy. Cry For Me Argentina. The truth is, there's only 10 left of you. No, no, no. Can we actually do that, but make it Jeopardy? So CR gets the answer, and then he has to stand there and work out... The, that, would be, <laughs> that would be more interesting. <laughs> uh, no, because there's not enough room in those little Jeopardy squares for a Chris Roberts answer. Like, female models. What have I been dangling in front of the players for six years? <laughs> no, that's not fair. I'm sorry. I apologize. I'm just being facetious. What part of the female um, model is... I don't want to know what you've been dangling in front of people for six years. <laughs> anyway... Sure. And to, and just off to, the rails just we to, go. Just to let chat know, I I know the Titan armor is a power armor, not a mech suit. I'm trust me, I'm a big enough fan of mecha that I know the difference. I just like saying mech suit. <laughs> <laughs> we still don't have another question. How is that even possible? <laughs> Why is this more entertaining than questions? <laughs> Apparently, it is. Do you guys actually want us to talk about Star Citizen or just like? Do this. <laughs> uh, this is not in the question document, but at this point, I don't care. Uh, Mr. Viscosity, how do you guys feel about more luxury-based ships? Presently, the 600i is an example of lux luxury. Ships going the wrong direction. Do you think that luxury ships in a civilian class should be able to one-hit ships like Connors? I particularly get concerned classifications won't mean much when luxury ships start one-hitting gunships. I'm impressed at uh, how you handled particularly, because I have I have a hard enough time saying that in an English <laughs> accent. That was an English oh, sorry, accent. Sorry, an American <clears throat> accent. 
It's not racist. I don't know where I was going. I mean, with that. I mean, fast card's not here, so somebody's <laughs> got to do it. Um, uh, I don't think luxury. I mean, luxury ships are going to be well protected because, I mean, if you have shit tons of money, are you going to let your ship be robbed? No, you're not. Um, they're going to be well so, defended, but they're going to be well defended. I against... think. I think they should be well defended, but shouldn't have extremely good offensive weaponry. It's like. All those stories of like pirates showing up around cruise liners and like shooting off small gunfire, and then the cruise liners shoot off something slightly bigger and scare the pirates away. It, the cruise liner would probably suffer catastrophic damage if the pirates actually attacked it. Mm -hmm. But they don't want to. It's. It's the entire thing of they don't need to be well defended. They just need to be scarier than the little tiny pirates. Well, with there's, the... Go ahead, Shiv. Look, nice there's row. the thing that at the moment, there's not much in the way of balance. So what's luxury and a one-shit killer today? Tomorrow might just be a mild-mannered morning dew. It's three. That's morning wet water condensation on the plants, not rather, a racist rather remark. Rather than a morning fornication. <laughs> but, a uh... Um, a a for, fornication fornication the in the morning! Aye! <laughs> What's wrong with a little fornication in the morning? You know, a, a nice morning do. Well, I certainly prefer to toss me a caber first thing in the morning. <laughs> This is my favorite show we've ever done. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and somehow so time has like stood oh. still. <laughs> so it's only been like five minutes, guys. I'm All right, so anyway. glad that these are always the show I'm on. Yeah, but it's, it's never my fault. <laughs> no, it's your fault. <laughs> um but no, like uh, uh, with the with the new flight model, they uh, they talked about how it's going to be going more towards uh, time to disable rather than time to kill. So yeah, you can do a couple <laughs> warning shots, or you could shoot an engine or two, and then the person will be like, "Oh, if I keep trying to run or fight, then I'm just going to get disabled, and then they're going to you know board me." Yeah. So all I could think of there is I'm disabled. <laughs> I do want things to go more towards time to disable rather than time to kill because, I mean, right now it doesn't matter. Your your person in Star Citizen doesn't matter, but that is one of the biggest supposed things about things like Death of a Spaceman is that mm -hmm. your character matters and you don't want them to die. And maybe when we actually start getting the... the um, the negative aspects of death, you might see people more willing to bargain with pirates or try to run away or like you won't see as much who gives a shit. You'll see more. Oh, fuck. I don't want to die because I die. I don't just lose the 600 I am in. I lose my other ships as well. I, I can I can imagine like really good Star Trekky moments where you're just sitting there on the bridge of your ship and you're hailing the captain of the other ship. Yeah. And he's like, hand over your, your stuff or we're going to shoot you again. And you're like, now, hold on a minute. And before you can finish your sentence, they fire another volley and like disable another engine. And you're like, OK, 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 hold on. <laughs> yeah. I just Nitro? remembered something that was quite important. Uh, thank you, Nitro. Uh, Nitro right, might have mentioned it earlier, but I blacked out because I was thinking this about something else. This is the world else. I've always wanted to live in. <laughs> there was a post earlier regarding uh, from a CIG dev about the Idris upgrade kits, and it was it, it basically the the point of it was uh, that CIG are now having to start looking at the ideas and concepts for how insurance is going to work on items. Which is, you know, something we haven't yeah. had any kind of confirmation either way well, on, but now we, it looks, there's uh, looking at There's a lot of things. It. There's a lot of things. And Mr. Verskosti says, you know, I thought ships were passed down to your next of kin. And there's a lot of stuff that we still don't know about things like insurance or 
the passing down of items and there might be a there might be an estate tax there is so, there's supposed to be anyway there, there's supposed to be we don't know we don't have <clears throat> details on any of this this is the stuff that's going to come out in balance so when cig spool things up and are like yeah guys it takes 25 minutes to get from orbit down to a planet and we're all like the fuck you say and they're <laughs> like oh, okay it takes it takes like 20 minutes now we're like the fuck you say and they're like okay fine it takes five minutes and like okay okay i can deal with that mm -hmm. so when they when they spool up the the whole passing down of things and they're like yeah, you know, uh, it's going to cost you 50% of the cost of the ship to get your, your you know, your predecessor's ships back. And we're like, the fuck you say? They're like, okay, okay, okay. And, and they're going to doubt that there's going to be some, some leeway there. I don't actually think they'll do that. I think what they'll do is they'll be like, um, we're going to take 10% of all of your assets. Or... Like, no matter how that manages to occur. Yeah. Oh, you've um, got this fleet of ships? Yeah, well, you got to give us a Mustang. It's gone. Yeah, something <laughs> like that. Um, one of the things I wanted to note was I actually found an explanation on the salvage dealio from this week. Oh, yeah? From Xylo. Oh, I like Xylo. Um, he basically said... Um, they, they're they still basically going through planning on where everything's going to go in 2019. Salvage isn't gone gone. It just won't make it in 3.5 and the, it will reappear in the schedule once they've figured out what's going on for the rest of the year. And, and let's be clear, that's going to happen more than once. They're going to... Oh, yeah. It's This is their, hey, we'd like to have things out at this time. And then they're like, oh, shit, it's not ready. Well, we're not going to so, delay the patch. And that's what we want. Yeah, what he said. What he said was, um, uh, "Where we'll end is still being actively discussed." When we plan, and we plan on providing you with all, you all with an update as soon as we have one. This will likely be coupled with a larger update to the roadmap that adds additional columns and information coming in the very near future. Which sounds. Anyway, uh, Jumbofy has a good question. Where is the ship component system on the roadmap? Salvage makes less sense without that being in game. <laughs> well, they just showed that'd, some components. That'd be, uh, that'd be like uh, yeah, re repair one, wouldn't it? Yeah. Repair Probably. V one, which is in three six. I I think that's one of the. It's like base mining is a couple things and then mining version one version two ver so i think right. they'll add the component system as one of those point one point two whatevers so we'll probably we'll probably get a basic component system somewhat shortly but then and this is the just fucking stupid part about star citizen is those components that you put in your ship guess what those components have components too and then Which the components of those components might have components too who the hell knows there's so many components and you'll need an even tinier wrench <laughs> <laughs> four to six inches it's warm what, what the hell can you do with a four to six inch wrench, Nitro? Yeah, you could do a lot of things. <laughs> <laughs> we uh, actually got another question. What? Holy! The question poop balls. is. The question is from um, ba, 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 so many options. Um, so many options asks. Uh, what is your favorite unreleased ship at this point, and why is it the Vulcan? Endeavor. Endeavor. <coughs> Polaris. Uh, excuse me for a moment <laughs> while I mute everyone else so I can yell from the top of the world. Mute. Uh, mute. Uh, mute. 
There is only one other ship currently that matters that has not been yet released. It is the Endeavor. The Endeavor is the only ship in Star Citizen that matters, and until it comes out, um, there is no game and there is no life and nothing has meaning. Endeavor always. Endeavor forever. Endeavor to be better. Endeavor. Endeavor for your pleasure. <laughs> Thanks, Nitro. <laughs> You're welcome, Nitro. Hey, Nitro. Uh, we're like five minutes out. We've almost made it here. Almost. Thank Nitro for that. <laughs> um, just real quick, uh, so, uh, something I thought of uh, when we were looking at the roadmap earlier. The 300 series rework is um, slated for 3.5, right? Yep. Um, they mentioned that they're trying to get that uh, out with their new like ship customization, like yep. online site buying thing, mm -hmm. which I don't really think has a place on the roadmap because it's not an in-game thing. It's just like a no, it's a website thing. It's yeah, it's a website thing. So, what do you guys think? You know, how do you think that's coming along? Or are you excited for that? Definitely. Um, I think it's going to be really interesting to see what kind of, especially the paint options, because we've been waiting for paint options for a long time. Mm -hmm. I am very excited to just play around with it and see what the different paint option, paint options look like for the 300 series. Um, I, just, I just want the yeah, 300. It's be cool. The 300 has always yeah. been one of my favorite ships, and I <clears> want it to just be there. We do have a couple other news things that we actually kind of didn't touch on. Quick. Um, uh the Crytek versus CIG Sega is now officially over. Crytek has chosen not to continue their complaint against hey, hey, CIG. Did, did anyone did um, anyone here call that, that that's kind of what was going to happen? I think pretty much all of us did. I, I think pretty oh, yeah. much yeah. everyone did, yeah. <laughs> so all of the Nitros did. Um, <laughs> Nitro is really on tonight. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> We're um, a hive mind. <laughs> Nitro to the fourth power. Um... <laughs> And I also, wanted, Borg. I also wanted to mention that uh, 342 <laughs> went live this week. So that was mm -hmm. that's worthwhile noting. Uh, it's just a small patch, uh, bug fixes, and a few other little things. But um, it's worth noting. Um, there are additional audio effects for mining arm transitions and actions. Holy so now it's shit, out. are you serious? I have been so waiting for that for 14 <laughs> years. That is the greatest news I've ever had in my entire life. That has literally changed everything. This changes at Sorry, I'm I'm a ass. So right in about the right in about the time that Freelancer came out, you were all about the mining arm changes in Star Citizen. Uh, because the freelancer sucks. No, not the free no, not the freelancer. Fourteen years ago was about when freelancer. Oh, freelancer! Came yes, yes. Came out. Actually, I guess it is. Remember freelancer? <laughs> Computer games. You remember, don't you? I mean, yeah, it's that yeah, ship it was, in the game that we play. It was good. It was good, and it was also not finished. Like, uh, no, but it was still really good. It was still really good, <laughs> and not finished. <laughs> Um, you know what? Let's start wrapping this up. So, what, about, uh, what if we wrap it down? Uh, we could wrap it down. We could wrap it sidewise. We could wrap it upwise. Um, I think you'll find that none of us could do that because we're all white, therefore can't wrap. Fair uh, enough. I think I've proven through various intros that I can, in fact, wrap. Yeah, but does Cass let you do it without hitting you? Fifth. There's, there's, there's a difference between <laughs> rapping and rhyming words really fast. Wait, there is? Yes. <laughs> uh, so, Nitro, um, what do we got going on this week? I've been waiting this whole time to do that. And just, just see, just see who wonders, wait, do, wait, do I, do, who, wait, what? I've been wondering every time you've said it. <laughs> and I, well, I let's start with let's let's start with Nitro Prime. Okay, Nitro Prime. N you mean Nitro Type Hat? Yes, the Nitro Type Hat. Yeah. yeah. Inventor uh, of the Type Hat. Wait, what was the question? You got What's anything going, on, going this on this week? Uh, no. Um, uh, tomorrow, 
are, I, I mean, I, I don't think I'm going to stream it because um, I have to get up early to do it and I don't want to set up streaming to do it. But uh, I'm doing a practice run tomorrow for the Daymar Rally, which is next weekend. Uh, and then I'm going to be actually streaming the actual rally next weekend. Nice. Um, so you can follow twitch.tv slash nitro type at and, uh, and that'll let you know when I'm live. Um, and then you can also follow me on Twitter at twitter.com slash nitro type at. Is there any post- spaces in those nitro type hats? Uh, no. So I think it should be that. Yes. Excellent. Cool. Um, but yeah, follow me on Twitter. I post memes and cute animal pictures. It's true. Uh, Nitro Cold, uh, you got anything going on this week? Um, yeah. Well, I mean, spaceship. where he lives is cold. I could Space also show, be Tuesday. cold. Tuesday, no, you're, 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 you're Nitro Sass. Yeah. But he's so cold, he's shivering. Uh, that's fair. But he's, no, um, cause we're cold. Anyway, uh, yeah, Space Show you know, Tuesday, um, we promise we'll actually do it this time. Um, I was not feeling well last week. Um, and uh, we're going to wrap up Apollo. Um, now, uh, I think we should, uh, oh, one thing we should do before we finish the show, since we actually forgot one thing, was I added a picture, in, added a picture into our video group, and you should put it up. Video group? Um, the gameplay loops. No, the new picture I added in there. In uh, Discord. Oh. Right. In the video if if I open about. it, it breaks everything. Give, okay, one second. Then I'll send to it to you. Everything's elsewhere. already broken. You, you can't send it to me elsewhere. It, just the way I've got this set up is bad. Um, I could send it to you in your email. <laughs> no, I, actually, that would work. Um, oh, man. Let's do. I'm going to do this for a second. There. Oh, no, I didn't click back on that. There. Uh, and then I can... Oh, God. This Today's is you're, you're causing nitro, nitro, there. nitro, nitro, nitro. Okay. Why is God. everybody talking about my ass in the chat? I, I did a thing. <laughs> yeah, so I just wanted to point out that we do actually know mm-hmm. what uh, the new mission giver looks like. That's uh, Tizia Pacheco and also her actress, which I think is pretty cool. Yep. Um, and, uh, so that's it for me this week. Woo. Let's go to, uh, uh, Nitro Nitro Sass. Nitro Sass. Nitro 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 Sass. Um. <laughs> <laughs> I've just got dead air this week. I think I might do a metal variation show. I think that's it. Cool. I have a Twitter, but I, I I don't use it because it's like, I could tweet that I'm playing a game, or I could just play the fucking game and be like, who gives a shit that I'm playing a game? Me. Your friends, Nitro. That's why, after you said that you were playing Civ 6 on Twitter, I talked to you about it for minutes. That's true. That's true. <laughs> I, I, I... Oh, that's probably really loud. I'm sorry. Yeah, stop breaking I us. Don't, I don't know what day it's going to be, but I think I'm doing some kind of Kingdom Hearts thing. Um, I don't know when. That's Jake's going to break that, you. That's up to Jake, uh, but I guess I'm going to do it with him, so you should come hang out for that if you like stuff like today, which I really don't know why you would. I'm really sorry to everyone. At the same time, I'm really thankful for everyone that showed up and watched us. And I, I'm uh, not sorry. Uh, thank you, thank you, thank you, Nitro, for being on. No problem. Um, Nitro, thanks for being on. Uh, Nitro, always good to have you on. And uh, you know, as Nitro, I, I, I'm sorry. Uh, I love you, everyone. Um. I'm going to go try and survive a snowstorm now. I'm being quiet because the quieter I am, um, the less viciously uh, the giant albino snow moose will attack me. Um, Fair enough. 
So I I wish you all the best of weeks. Um and the best of leeks. Leeks are really good in, in soup with potato. That is um, true. Also Okay, that's it. We're out. <laughs> Bye everyone. <laughs> Thanks Bye. for coming. <laughs> Bye. Oh, that was wait, the best wait, show we've ever done. wait, no, hang on. Stop everything. Stop the presses. Stop everything. The original Grib has a question. Original Grib, <gasps> what is your question? Quick. You are on the hook right now for every extra second that I have to pay Nitro, Nitro, and Nitro to be on. Go, original Grib. Do you guys get paid? Shit. Next week, it'll take a while. Okay. Okay. Uh, that's a really long, that's a week long question. <laughs> I mean, I tried. I tried to be nice and answer the question, but um, we'll we'll get to it next week. Uh, thank you everyone for hanging out and watching, okay. and uh, we'll see you in the verse. Bye.